Jerry and Molly again. Welcome back. This is lesson three on the five part series of reptiles. Today, we're gonna to be learning all about the turtles. Turtles are pretty awesome. They have shells. Their shells are made out of bone and they're covered in scutes or scales. The hard shell is great protection and the pretty color on the shell is very pretty, but it has another purpose. It helps the turtle to be camouflage, which also provides protection. Hey, can you all smile for me? Yuri's smiling. Oh, you have teeth, beautiful teeth. Well, guess what? Turtles have no teeth. That's right, they have beaks like birds and they have to crush their food. That sounds like that would hurt, crush. Did you know that there are four different groups of turtles? There's the tortoises, the freshwater or pond turtles, the terrapins, and the sea turtles. We're gonna talk a little bit about each one of these groups. Tortoises are turtles that live on land, locally, we have two types of tortoises, the box turtle and the gopher tortoise. Did you know that the gopher tortoise is a threatened species in the state of Florida? This means there's not a lot of them left and we've got to take very good care of them so that they don't disappear and become extinct. Gopher tortoises cannot swim. As a matter of fact, they don't even drink much water. They get most of the water they need from the food that they eat. They are herbivores, eating only vegetation found near their burrows. Gopher tortoises dig big, deep, long burrows into the ground and they share it with other animals. There are over 350 different types of creatures that live in the gopher tortoise burrow, either while he's living there or after he moves out. These creatures can include mammals, mammals such as mice, rabbits, and even fox. It'll include birds, like bur burrowing owls. Other reptiles like to move in, like lizards and snakes. There's amphibians that will live in the burrow. Things like frogs, especially the gopher frog, and salamanders. Then there's tons of invertebrates. There's things like insects and spiders, millipedes, and all kinds of other things that love to live in the gopher tortoise burrow, either while he's there or after he moved out. The other type of land turtle or tortoise is the box turtle. Box turtles are semi-aquatic, meaning they like to live in moist areas like forests and under shrubbery. They'll sometimes enter very shallow water too, but they're not very good swimmers. These turtles are special. Their shell is hinged. They can pull their legs and head and tail inside just like most turtles but the hinged shell allows them to close their front door and their back door. What awesome protection. The second group of turtles is the freshwater or pond turtles. These turtles are found in freshwater places. Can you name some freshwater places? Very good, a lake, a pond, rivers, streams, creeks, and even swamps. Those are all freshwater places that you might find freshwater turtles. These turtles spend most of their time in the water, but because they're cold-blooded or ectothermic, they have to get out of the water onto logs or rocks so that they can bask or lay in the sun. This helps to warm them up, but also helps them to digest their food. Freshwater turtles can stay under the water for a long time holding their breath, a lot longer than us. But when they need to breathe, they have to come to the surface of the water, lift their head out of the water, just like us. Take a big deep breath of air <gasps> before going back down under the water. The third type of turtle is the terrapin. They're often called diamond back terrapins. Terrapins are very similar to our freshwater turtles. As a matter of fact, their closest relative is the map turtle, which is a species of freshwater turtle. 
Terrapins live in brackish water. That's a little bit salty and a little bit fresh all mixed together. This is where they find their favorite food, the periwinkle. The fourth and last group of turtles is the sea turtle. The sea turtles live in the salty water ocean. But like the freshwater turtles and the diamondback terrapins, they have to come to the surface of the water to breathe. But they can go back down and hold their breath a long, long time. Sea turtles hatch on the land. Then they head to the ocean and begin swimming. And they swim and swim and swim, spending their entire life swimming. They only come out of the water and up onto the land to lay their eggs. So when do the males come out of the water? Hmm. Can't trick you. They never come out of the water because they don't lay eggs. Only the females come out. Sea turtles have special legs called flippers. These flippers help to make them strong swimmers. But flippers are not meant for walking on a sandy beach. So the females have a very difficult time when it comes to laying their eggs. But it's all worth it to have those baby turtles. Today we learned all about turtles. So my challenge for you today is to go and read more about your favorite type of turtle. Yuri, Yuri and I really enjoy learning about turtles with you today. Hope you did too. Next time, join us when we explore the lizard group of reptiles. Goodbye from Yuri and Miss Molly. We'll see you soon.